Today is August 20th and here's our buoy tent update. Today was a really fun day. Uh, not just because we got into a bunch of bites. We probably had 12, 15, 16 bites today. A lot of action and really anything I put down there was getting bit. Uh, spinners got bit best for the most part, but of course catch them on bait as well. Uh, but today was an interesting day because of the weather. It was flushing that marine layer in and out, in and out, and for the most part, people were being very safe, driving slow, because there were a lot of times you could not see more than 10, 15 yards in front of you. The west wind has been cooking through here, and even when I got down near Social Security Beach and Iwako, it even switched around, it was coming from the southeast. So again, today was an interesting day weather-wise probably due to the heat that we had down here in Astoria over the last two days. It's probably just trying to self-correct right now. Uh, the guys that are still out there are getting near the high slack right now. They're finding a few fish around the bridge on the Oregon side, but really, again, it's the name of the game out here over the last, well, for the entire season has been sporadic. Today, we caught fish at checkerboard on the outgoing tide. Then I caught fish on the Washington side up at the bridge. Then we caught fish down around Hammond, then up again on the Oregon side up near the bridge. It's just scattered. So on these bigger tides, we do tend to see that the fish will get blown around, spread out. Um, but there were a couple of really good snaps. You know, we pulled into Hammond and there wasn't a single boat around. Figured, ah, we'll just drop in here and nose in for a little bit and see what happens. And all the boats were well away from us, kind of just sat there all off by ourselves just to kick back, get away from the fleet a little. And all of a sudden, boom, fish. And within 15 minutes, we had four or five grabs and a couple other boats came in a little bit closer to us. They started whacking on fish too. And just as quickly as it started, it ended. I even tried calling a couple buddies, getting them in on the bite. By the time they got there, it was over. So it's just right place, right time, right fish. That truly has been the name of the game here so far this season. You either land on them or you don't and you just make the best educated guess that you can and hope that you're in front of a pot of fish when they do come through. But uh, you know, again, for the most part, for me it was spinners, uh, the red and white, the Coast Guard, and then also gold and green. And the one thing I did actually change today, and I don't know if it made a difference or not. Where's that here? Yeah, there it is. So I don't know if it made a difference or not because truly in fishing, you'll, you'll never be able to say for certain whether that fish would have bit it without it. Uh, you know, so I, I can't tell you that red and white spinners is the only way to go because that fish that we caught or the couple of fish we got on the red and white spinners could have bit a green spinner. They just happened to bite it. But what I was doing today with my spinners, it is right here. Just on the tubing because you don't want to screw up uh, the blade or the beads or anything. I was just throwing the new uh, Pro Cure Super Sauce on there. This one here was the tuna. That one got bit really well today. And then we got two on the herring and nothing on the garlic. I tried garlic, didn't work, and one on the anchovy. So, uh, you know, messed around with a few different things today. Again, I can't tell you if the scent made a difference or not. I don't know. It, I just noticed too. Yes, I'm wearing a pro cure hat. So, call advice, opinion, whatever you want. That's what we did today and it worked. We got bit on it pretty well. So, I'm going to try it again today, see if it does, or uh, excuse me, I'm going to try it again tomorrow and see if it makes a difference. If it does, then there'll be some uh, merit to the, to the conversation. But for now, that's what worked for us today. And we're gonna give it a shot again here tomorrow. See if uh, we can continue this little snap. It's a fun day today, plenty of bites, lots of action. And it seems like we saw a few more fish get caught. So that's our buoy tent update here for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'm still waiting on those coho. Ah, oh, but we did get a hatchery coho today, but I want a lot. I know they're out there. Hopefully they come in on tomorrow's tide. We'll see you guys then. Later.